ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much um, for your presence. We appreciate your coming to support us, encouragement, and everything. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank um, Dr. Joe Morrison and Kathy Morrison and Jim Pierce and uh, Marsha Pierce and the rest of your team for supporting us. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here today. Uh, everything we've got, I really appreciate it. Uh, I had some hardship at the beginning when we first came, as you all know. I have no skill of English because of the uh, situation in Laos that we had to move from place to place during my childhood, which I had no English skill before we came. So I had a very difficult time. But because your support and for all the transportation you guys provided us, and I had some schooling in Berlin, Michigan. And um, I remember Mrs. Avis Peterson gave me a transportation to school. And w one day, I guess she probably have a um, busy schedule. So she asked me a very basic question. She says, Chu, would you like to go home early or late today? And I kind of guessing what she meant, but was unsure which word was which. So I decided to pick one and happened to be the wrong one. <laughs> uh, um, and so I told her early, and the class was supposed to be 45 minutes to an hour. And within 15 minutes, she was there, and I didn't know what was going on, but I went home with her anyway, because I didn't know I didn't have, know how to explain it to her. So then I figured it out, the two words. For 15 minutes, I learned the two words. <laughs> that was very valuable. And then one day, Kel went to work, and he also pre-warned me, says, Honey, I'm expecting a letter from overseas. So I was getting nervous because he told me that I have to sign for the letter. And then, sure enough, that day the mailman came with a letter. And I didn't know how to spell my name. I was thinking that I have to spell exactly how it's supposed to spell in English. So I asked Kel to write it down, and I have it to be placed in my bedroom. <laughs> well, I sat down to study. And then when the mailman came, I ran back to get my sample of my name how to spell, you know, without telling the mailman to wait, because I didn't speak any English. And I came out with a sample. He was already gone with the letter. And I was so depressed, and I you know, sat there with tears you know, coming down my face. And after that, I thought I better work hard. If you walk with your bare foot, you better work hard to get a pair of shoes. So all this, what we have, what I learned, what my families have, and all my relatives here today, all the comfort that we have because of this family, uh, Dr. Morrison and the member of the church and everybody that supported us. And I can't thank them enough, but just ask God to uh, give them support like we have, like we receive from them. And uh, I really appreciate it. I just can't thank you enough for everybody like today. Everybody came to help. They have such a good heart. And without us asking them, they just participate and came forward and said, how can I help you? How may I help you? And they brought um, all kinds of things and spent a lot of their time to put this event together. Without their help, we wouldn't be here. And we just nobody, like Kel said earlier. And thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, like I was speaking earlier in Mian language, I want to thank each one and uh, each and every one of you for your support financially, physically, and emotionally. I want to thank our human brothers and sisters in Portland area, Seattle, California, and our own brothers, sisters, and our Laotian brothers and sisters who are here tonight to join us 
to celebrate this very important event for us. Before coming to this country, we feel that we are so fortunate that we have a very strong support and help from Mr. Wen Chien and his family. I went to school to get some education because of him. Um, I grew up and then I went to the military. Because of his help, I was able to uh, read and write some English. And then he continued to send me a Choi and Sing Fo together to continue our English in Thailand. I met Jack the first time was in Vientiane. He spoke Laotian better than I do, like H.Y. explained earlier. Very fluent. I kind of very interested in learning about him. So I spoke to him with my, with my excitement. And then we met again back in Ban Hui Sai. That's where he worked. He was a, a chief of the USA to uh, Laotian urban development team. And then comes Gary uh, Alex. I mean Gary, uh, yeah that's true. Gary Alex uh, also works for USA with Jack Huxtable. And then Gary Parrott. Gary Parrott is a, a long time friend also. He's a person that always, always stood up for our people. He, he's, he's a man that always stood up for us. And then George Kenny was our advisor. Uh, he's, he was always, always with the Myanmar people uh, in Ban Nam Laos. And uh, he was a very respectable person, very nice person, very good advice that he has given to our people. If you don't know how to shoot a gun, he knows how, how to advise you how to shoot a gun. And uh, Ray Lau, Ray Lau, not just our advisor, but he was our commander. H.O.I. and I, when we were in military, in back in Laos, he was our commander. Anyway, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately we, we, uh, we lost our country, the Laos. And then, while in the refugee camp, somehow I got connected with uh, Jack Huxtable, who was working with the uh, American Embassy in Bangkok at the time. We kind of rode back and forth, you know. And then one day we went to, uh, there was five of us went to uh, Mr. Jack Huxtable in his office. While in the office, I asked him so many questions. He asked me, do you want to go to the US? I said, a person like me, what can I do in America? How can I earn for a living? He says, there's so many opportunities in America. You can uh, continue your education or you can work right away. Uh, you can either do, uh, do a janitorial work or washing dishes or do anything you can, you can do for a living. And then I said, okay, then uh, uh, how about cost of living? And then he started comparing. He started comparing the uh, uh, labor, the cost of living between Thailand and America. At that time, the minimum wage was like, was like 250 per hour. And then he says, in Thailand, you work from dawn to dark. You earn only 25 bucks. What can you buy with the 25 bucks? Not even a chicken at that time. And then I start to write down some numbers, try to do my calculation. And uh, finally I said, okay, I will go. I go to America, can you find me a sponsor? He said, okay, I'll find you a sponsor. And then he did just that. He found us a, uh, he found us a sponsor, uh, the First Baptist Church under the leadership of Dr. Joe Morrison and his wife, Kathy Morrison, and along with, uh, with the leaders like Jim Pierce and his wife, uh, Marsha Pierce. They sponsored us to come to America. April 23rd, 1976 was our first day to land in America. We landed in, in Tri-City Airport and Dr. Mortensen and Larry William were the two there to pick us up. 
and they took us to a restaurant nearby, and that was my first time eating American potato chip, the potato fries. It was so delicious. I liked it. And uh, anyhow, to make long story short, um, we lived with them uh, in Michigan for a little over a year. Well, not quite yet. And then we learned that there was another family of Myan people just came to America who were living in Portland at the time. After learning so, my mother started complaining that we wanted to move to Oregon because I, so I can speak to our you know, uh, uh, relatives over there with our native town. And then I present, I present the idea to Dr. Morrison. And then he says, uh, okay, in that case, I don't know if you really like Oregon or not, but let us buy you a round ticket for your mother and you to go visit your relative in, in uh, Portland. And they did, you know, they bought us two round tip, uh, plane tickets for my mother and I. Came to visit Portland, visit our relative, Fu Wang, uh, you saw earlier. After the visit visitation, my mother refused to go back to, uh, uh, to Michigan. So I had to flew back to uh, Michigan by myself and then I drove to uh, Portland. It took us five and a half days, almost six days, really. But, you know, all the credit should be given to all my friends and uh, our sponsors. Without them, there's no us today. Because of their help, because of their generosity, that's why we are here today to celebrate our anniversary. It's not just Carol and Shua's anniversary, but it's an anniversary for all of us, the human people. We're so, I feel so fortunate that we have such a good friends like yourself, all of you, to give us support like this. Without further ado, we'd like to uh, present this award of appreciation to Dr. Joseph I. Morrison and Mrs. Kathy Morrison. Thank you so much for your help and support us. also goes to Mr. Jim and Mrs. Marshall Pierce as co-sponsors who brought us here to America. Without them, we wouldn't be here today. <laughs> 